Hey everybody, Bill here, back again with another video. This is going to be one of them drawn out long me talking a lot, but we're going to have a uh, taste test also with old meals, they call it. A few different varieties, these are hashed potatoes, old meals. And this one here is a s'more cookie. I never had s'more cookies before. You had s'more cookies? Not cookies. I had the s'mores. You had the s'mores? All right. So we'll be right back here in a minute. We'll be explaining that. <laughs> we'll be back. S'more cookies. You said you never had them. I never had not the cookies, but the s'mores. You put it over the campfire with the little stick, and yeah, you, you gotta burn your marshmallow a little bit. I never did that. No, I never did that. I never have. Well, yeah. you've been, you've been, we've been married a long time. I, me and you never did it, and I never did it before you. So well, we're just gonna have to do that, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, if it all Make depends on it. what this here tastes like. If it tastes like good, I mean, I never had it. I don't know. So I ain't gonna knock nothing to it. Well, try. you like graham cracker, you like Hershey's chocolate, and you like a marshmallow. <laughs> so that's what it is. All right, all right. But these here, it's like a military MRE. They got the vent holes on the top. You can see a little club. Yeah, look, vent holes uh, for steam to come out of there, so it's not popping the bag open. And so is this one here. And it says this one here is a two serving. No one didn't. This one don't really say. This says fill to the line up to here, right here, and this one here has the same thing, the fill line, but uh, really don't say how many servings. But it is, it's pretty dense. It's heavy, ain't it, Phil? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's dense. The cookies are real light. Yeah, the cookie is real light. Yeah, it is. But like I said, I'm gonna be talking a lot in this one while these things are. Uh, uh, cooking basically and it's like an MRE uh, you rip it open you fill it up to the fill line then it like bubbles up heats up inside I mean it I guess they're pretty good I don't know we'll, we'll try this is the first time I did these on this show but, I've seen uh, a couple reviews they said um, those were really good but they didn't have enough serving in them uh, the guy ate the whole bag he said <laughs> those potatoes with bacon peppers and onions so it, it should be pretty good mm -hmm. cameraman think so yeah you want to try some too probably <laughs> All right. so uh yeah the second part of this we'll get into it later i mean there's a lot of stuff going on you, you don't see us doing too many gun videos very often anymore it's because ammo is getting scarce very it's really really scarce uh we went to a few stores today mm -hmm. and I mean, the shelves were plain. They were, they were empty. And, I mean, people online, I'll check. They're having a hard time getting the ammo. And uh, the first place we went to today was... Uh, was Cabela's. It? Cabela's. And uh, I'll be putting a picture up probably here or there or the whole screen or whatever. I'll be putting a picture up to the empty shelves. I took pictures of it to show you guys how empty these places are. I mean, it was Cabela's and Walmart, mm -hmm. and Walmart, Walmart, and uh, I'll be putting pictures up of that too, of the shelves. Also, uh, Royal King. Yeah, Royal King, yeah. Dunham's has nothing. Yeah, Dunham's, Dunham's has nothing. I got pictures of Dunham's. We'll put pictures of that up too. Then, uh, I know I'm rambling on, but there's a couple things. There's quite a few I want to cover in this video. Um, like I said, we ain't been doing the gun videos because, for that fact, it's just so hard to get ammo and I don't want to run out. Then, you know, then I know that shit's about to hit the fan 
And uh, <laughs> you ain't going to be able to pick a bunch of ammo up. <laughs> right. well, you just want to see what daddy has up here, huh? <laughs> And my dog. You haven't seen her. You might have seen her running around the table before. But get it down so we can get this. All right, daddy's taking it down. <laughs> no, but yeah, uh, I want to give a shout out to a few of her co-workers. That we seen them in, uh, when did we see them at? We seen, uh, one yesterday at Sam's Club. The Sam's Club. We seen him at Sam's Club. Chris. And his name is Chris. I'm going to shout out to him. Thanks for watching the videos. I'm subscribing. And his buddy, I guess, Jason. 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 Mm -hmm. They bought these cars at, uh, oh, shit, Cleveland, Cleveland Motors. Cleveland Motors. Auto Motor Auto Center. And uh, they hadn't had nothing but problems, and they just said, "Hey, man, why don't you do a video? Tell these people how bad these places are." I don't care. I will. I'll tell them how bad they are. It's yeah, he's Cleveland Auto Center. Chris has had problems from day one. Yeah. with his Jeep. I mean, they, they can't get their cars fixed. They keep taking them back yeah. and back and back. Jason and has to keep unplugging his battery. Unplug every yeah. time yeah. he gets out of it or it drains it. They just won't fix anything. Man, I don't know. I, I was going to buy a car there before. I'm glad we didn't because you were looking at a truck there the other day. Yeah, I was going to buy a 350, no. but if they have that many problems with their vehicles, there's two people already just having that many problems. I ain't going to buy it. I mean, a F350, that's a lot of money. I don't want to put out put all that money out for it. Yeah, they wanted way too much, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Plus, it was damaged a lot, too. They would have to take it. There's a lot of repairs that needed done. Mm -hmm. But it was still a nice truck. But uh, let's open these up. And that was a little bit of stuff I was going to talk about. Right here. Yeah, you open them up. There's a little one. Can we open this one? Yeah, you can open that one. And uh, like I said, it should be just like a military MRE. And this here... This is the heating right here. This is a heating pad. Right there. And this. Hey, they give you a little spork. Yeah, see, there's two of them. Give you a spoon. What do you do? Just heat this up and so stick it in the bag? You put this back in the bag, like this. And you shouldn't have to open this heater up. Look, yeah, it says tear open here. Yeah, if I read, it says tear. Take the heater out. I never seen one. It wasn't like a hand warmer. It's pretty much like a hand warmer. Yeah, it, it's crazy. It feels like there's powder inside. Feel that? Feels like there's powder yeah. inside. But you uh, put your food in there. Put your little heater oven pouch thing in there, and uh, you fill it up to the line. Oh, you got add water. Yeah, you gotta fill it up to the fill line. I can't see my light went out. That should be a woman. I got a little much in there, so let me dump some of this water in here. I can't see my little white one there. Saturate it. We'll do this. And we'll set it to the side and hopefully it'll start warming up. Got your little pouch in there. Mm. Careful in the water. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I ain't gonna put that much water in there. That was a whole bottle of water. I'm going to need another bottle of water to eat this stuff right now. Probably do this. Make sure that thing is... Alright. We'll set these over here to the side. And hopefully here in a minute you'll start hearing them bubble. But usually MREs, military MREs, you can hear, start hearing it sizzle right away. I don't hear nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I don't hear nothing. Yeah, not yet. All right. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. Get them two guys there a shout out and tell me, tell you guys that if you're going to that Cleveland Automotive 
don't go there. I mean, it's it's just ridiculous. And uh, the other thing I wanted to cover was uh, reasoning why we started these videos. Uh, there, you could tell when you're on YouTube watching all these guys. I mean, you got your group of guys that does this certain way, then you got another group of guys that does it a certain way. It's like me, Crazy Hillbilly Channel. I, I got started watching the FPS Russia, if anybody ever heard of them. Uh, Hootie Who, I watch him all the time. He pretty much gave me that notion to, hey, I want to make videos, see how they turn out. And Demo Ranch and uh, the Crazy Russian Hacker. Our little kind of little group like that, it's like we go out there and shoot, blow stuff up, have fun, you know what I mean? Then you get your other group of people like Hickok 45, your Iraq Vet 88, 88. Uh, I wrote all these down, so I won't forget them all, but I, I do watch them all. Paul Harrell and uh, 22 Plinkster. They pretty much, when they get guns before they shoot, they'll explain everything about the gun. How they shoot, what ammo they shoot, the ballistics on it and all that. I don't. I mean, like the rest of us, this group that we're in, we just go out there and... Just to do it, to right. have fun. Yeah, just to have fun. I mean, we're, we're, we're educational, but we're not educational. The other ones, yeah, they go through it all. And they, they tell you everything all about it. And, uh, yeah, we, we don't. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're starting to... I thought up. I seen some... Uh... Heat's trying. There's a guy right here. Yeah, look he's, at he's it. Boy, he's he's heating. He's blowing can't. up. There we there go. There we go. There it goes. There we go. He's starting now. This guy getting mad at it, I guess. Oh, Ooh, look at, look at that steam coming. You shake that son of a bitch up? Maybe that's what you need to do. And steam starts to boil. Oh, yeah. That was quick, too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that one. You shake them things up? I feel how hot that is. Oh, yeah. Now it's sizzling down. Yeah, well, it's still, it's still cooking. It ain't gonna cook that fast, but yeah, it's... It's just heating it up. Yeah, it's heating it's it up. A, they're fully cooked. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's how, that's our group. I mean, like I said, you got our kind of group, and you got this other kind of group. And, uh... Yeah, it, it, we have fun when we do it. But, uh, yeah, I got my cheats right here I'm going over today. And uh, making sure I'm not going to forget anything while we're going over it. Yeah. So, all right, now the serious stuff, like what's about to happen, what I think about to happen, and uh, about this biden harris gun deal that they got going on that they just started or getting ready to start i think they put it in there last week about uh how they're wanting to confiscate guns take your gun away you take them on and uh all their plans I, i've been hearing that it, it somebody i heard this from i don't know i was checking on the internet that somebody said that one of their part of their plan is that if you buy a gun that that's the only way you can get their ammo from some of these mom and pop stores so i mean a lot of these mom and pop stores are jacking the prices up and you can't you can't afford it uh, i'm not is what they had a little bit they were price gouging yeah i'm to him that price gouging i'm not paying and if you guys you guys shouldn't either don't go out and pay a dollar a round for nine millimeter ammo 50 bucks for 50 rounds damn that and that just that just keeps them for doing that keeps them doing it and just don't do it anymore i mean it like i said the ammo's getting scarce now you don't you, fuck that i ain't doing it and it, it, it's crazy and they're then they want to confiscate it it won't stop there at the ars no. like they're wanting to confiscate Ooh, the big scary gun it won't stop there it'll keep going progressing down to your shotguns, your pistols, and mm -hmm. everything else. And then later on, probably the big scary knife, the assault knife. I don't know. It's crazy what these people are doing. Then they raise up taxes and stuff. They raise up your taxes. Then they give you the stimulus. Then you. Then they give their raise to everybody to fifteen dollars an hour. I mean, that's, that's what he's wanting now when he gets in. That's going to bankrupt America. 
That's what it's going to do. I mean, a dollar bill ain't going to be worth anything. And they're just, they're, they're screwing. It's bad. And and they wonder about this Capitol, all oh, the protesters, they were violent. What did all these other people do? You know what I mean? Burning buildings down, killing kids, uh, shooting cops. Down. Yeah. Shooting cops in the face. But that's peaceful protesters. That, there's, there's a difference. How the hell is that peaceful? Well, you know, Biden. Right there, buddy. I mean, I ain't afraid to put this YouTube video up. I mean, you just pissed me the fuck off. That's what you did. And uh, all you people that voted for him, yeah, you too, you too, buddy. And you guys are going to get what you're going to get. And then you got the assholes that want to take your guns away, all the public that anti-gunners going out now buying these guns. Never had a gun. Never had a gun before. Don't, don't know how, how to, to load them. It, don't know how to know shoot. nothing about them. Right, right. They're buying them all up, yeah. and the, we can't get shit. Damn what they said years ago, or a year ago. The hell with everybody that owns a gun. They don't deserve them anyway. Why would you need more than five rounds to shoot a deer? Because I do. Maybe I want to. Maybe there was five that I wanted to shoot. But it ain't It ain't like you see in the video games. You're out there, you non-hunters, that go out in the woods. Sometimes deers don't fall on the first round. Right. You're going to blast them more than once. I mean, take a fat Colby, my cameraman there. How many times did you shoot that deer last year? Twice. Yeah. Then if you would have had fouled that three-round rule, you'd have had to keep shooting and running, you know what I mean, if you had, to, if you wanted to shoot another one. Loading it up as you're shooting. I mean, it's ridiculous. It is. Come on, man. You got to get over that stuff. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm going to put the picks up. And uh, show you about these shelves, how how empty they were, and uh, yeah, that Biden and Harris plan. It just it's just no good. And you'll see a lot of on YouTube now. Preppers telling you for the last year, I mean, you gotta buy the stuff, buy the stuff, buy the and ammo, stock up on and stock your up supplies. On it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the groups of people. If you're gonna have a group of people, I would say my limit would probably be 13 or 14 people in my group you if you i'm serious though if you have any more than that all in reality if you have 25 35 40 people in your group that it, ain't, it won't last that means you got to put out more effort into more food more water i mean I'm sure all these people will go out and scavenge around but that's just twice as much as you got to scavenge around for i mean let's get real i mean Hey, you people out there thinking that you can just get, you got your A and B plan. I got my gold bag ready. As soon as shit happens, out the door. That ain't how it's going to work. You're going to have to sit still and uh, figure out what you got going on. If if you got stocked up in your house or whatever thing you need, stay there as long as you can. I mean, then have your plan B but when your plan B is you're bugging out, make sure you have a place to bug out too. Just don't bug out and say, I'm going to hit the woods and have nowhere to go. You're going to die. Don't do that. Now, unless you're in the middle of summertime, then you, I don't know, you get rained on or something. It depends on where you're at in the country. But yeah, it's, you got to think before you do. You know what I mean? It, it, what, what do you think about it? Yeah, I just get tired of hearing it. Yeah. But the shit is but real. But it is real, yeah. yeah. Shit's coming, and for to you naysayers out there, uh, oh, it'll never happen. Uh, no, people will coming. stand up, right? People, it, it'll never happen, and it won't be this civil war here to here and here. I mean, it, it's going to be the we, the people, the right side, not the left side, stand up and fight for our rights. And uh, I just hate to see it. There's a lot of people. I mean, it shit really, it's like a 60, 60 40 chance that, uh, 60 40 chance that this shit's going to happen. It's real. I mean, people's not on YouTube or on the internet telling you to do this stuff just to tell you to do it. I mean, shit, shit's coming. And all the military and stuff that is at the Capitol now because of a, a inauguration. Mm -hmm. No. There's other stuff going on besides that. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't all bad people there at that place to break in that Capitol like that. Right. 
I mean, it. I mean, yeah, it was bad. But what did the other people do? Was it worse? Yeah, it was. And uh, they just want to put the blame to other people, the other good side. They, I don't know. It's just a bunch of hell going on right now. I mean, it's don't want to lose too much sleep about it. But like I said, if you got a plan A and plan B, stick out your plan A as long as you can. And uh, move when you have to move. Have everybody ready in your group. Do uh, you have anything else on that? No. Let's see what else I wrote down to talk about. I mean, it, we got good video today. <laughs> good video. What was it? Uh, Hodge Twins? <laughs> Damn good show! Yeah, I like them. But, <laughs> but they they got that pack of Black Rifle Coffee Company in front of them now. Uh, come on, man. They, they supported the leftist side. They gave them money to the Biden and them to screw over the right, the, the Republic. <laughs> they probably just don't read their comments and shit. Yeah. I do. And uh, we're getting close to the 100th video or 100th subscriber and like I said when we have that 100th subscriber we're going to have us a good giveaway and we only got 14 more people man just go out there and hit that that sub that like button and that sub I mean you really like this next sub I mean if shit hits the fan before I reach 100 I'm sorry but it's going to be a, it's going it was going to be a good giveaway but yeah Hit that subscribe, man. And just 14 more people. And I think they'll like it. It's really going to be pretty cool. And don't forget the Crazy Hibbly Channel shirts. If you want that, write in the comments and we'll send them to you. I still got some hats left. I got some stickers, window stickers too. You guys want them. Um, a couple more things I want to go over. Did I cover everything? I think you did. Uh, all with the other one there. Uh, like I said, we're, we're coming in some, some hard times now. And if people think about it, America is like old Rome. Rome fell because of the infrastructure. Their, their media and everybody joined together and said, the hell, we're, we're against them now. And if you think about it, Rome, they pretty much covered a lot of territory when they took over. And America's like that, too. We're globally. I mean, we got military bases everywhere. Mm -hmm. All over the globe. And uh, and what America is doing, it, it's going to... You can see it crumbling from the inside. Internal crumbling. I mean, the infrastructure structure is tearing this place up. With the social media. Uh... Just the platforms, the social platforms, I mean, and the media. I mean, the, the fake news going out there saying everybody's wrong on this, everybody's right this. Then you got all the, the Democrats saying uh, go out there and spit and punch and do anything you can to a Republican and everybody's bad. That's what's tearing us up. Infrastructure's closing. I mean, it, it, it's collapsing. I mean, you guys can sit back and watch this stuff actually happen like it's a soap opera. It, it's scary times right now. Yeah. But like I said, just make sure you got that plan A and plan B. But I think I was bullshitting enough for like five minutes, right? <laughs> More like ten. Ten? <laughs> ten minutes? <laughs> and these things should be done, right? Look at that. It is. Cool. It's hot. Yeah. Look. Poof, 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 poof. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's another. Is this a shotgun one? <clears throat> Ooh, that one's hotter yet. I don't think them cookies are supposed to be that hot, are they? I don't know. It's been cooking longer than the other one. You ooh, want to open ooh, that bag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe we ought to open these up and try to take these out of here. Well, all we need is a couple plates. Uh, I got them right here beside me. I do believe, huh? Maybe. Thanks, so. Yeah. Yeah. Mind you. Mind. Let me try to get this here. Alrighty, I got plates here. One plate, two plate, and three plates. I'm gonna put this stuff out. Uh, 
Hopefully this stuff is pretty good. I know, like I said, I never tried these old meals before. Mm -mm. And uh, which one is this? This is a cookie. Is s'more. I need some tongs or something. <laughs> um, those are two of them yeah. here. All right. That was two of them in there. That thing is still going. It's still cooking. All right, we'll try that cookie first. We'll open that up. And, uh... Be a good way to boil water. That is hot. Yeah, it's hot. It got hot <laughs> quick, too, when I shook it up. <laughs> yeah, it got hot quick. I got it's slimy. I got it for you. I'll get it for you. You slimed it up. No. Oh, I broke your cookie in half. Yeah. My cookie's in a bag. Why is yours not in the bag? Not unless I ripped it. It ripped the bag open. It. Damn, that's tinfoil. It's tough. Yeah. All right. Gives you one of them. Really. All right. And it's like glued that little bag to that side. Well, yours is already out. Yeah. All right, mine's open too. This is a s'more, s'more, am I saying it right? S'more, s'more. Yeah, <laughs> my tongue needs that exercise again. <laughs> All right, cameraman, want to try a piece? Yeah. So this show is the what camera. it looks show like. The camera what, it, what it's like. It's an actual cookie. Yeah, it's an actual cookie. It's pretty thick too. Let's try this. It tastes just like a... Chocolate chip cookie. Want another bite? Yeah. I bet the dog does. Come yeah. here. Mm -mm. No. I just gave her a bite. Yeah. I can taste a graham cracker. You're eating it with a spoon? It's a cookie. No, I cut it. No. It's hot. Mine mm -hmm. ain't really that hot. This one is. It's warm, like I just put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Come on. You def definitely taste a graham cracker. It's stuck to the roof of my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. They had a marshmallow. They must not have much chocolate because that's the only piece of chocolate I've seen. Man, I don't have one like one marshmallow. That's pretty good. I mean, I think it tastes like graham fat or anything in it. Might be just like a sugar cookie. To me, it's more like a chocolate chip. We ready for the other thing? Let me get my spoon out of here. Let me get this down my throat first. I can't talk anymore. <clears throat> All right. Let's try these. But that was that was a good cookie though. I like it. Mm -hmm. Is this the only one in there? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Well that thing in there poofed up. If you could see it. It poofed up. <laughs> and it's hotter than hell too. Look at it poofed up. Oh yeah. Absorb that water. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna eat too much of this. Oh, we got, I just got done eating there a little bit ago. Usually, old Billy can eat all kinds of stuff. Well, they, the guy said, or whoever read on the review or comment said that it wasn't enough, but he said he ate the whole bag. All right, how long is this? All right. He ate the whole bag? Yeah, not enough. he said it was really good. Okay, we'll try it and see. Smells good. Let me open this up for you guys so you can see what's inside of it. I doubt you'll be able to see it. Ah, it's hot. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's take some of this out of here. This your spoon? My spoon. That's yours. How heavy that spoon is. Mm -hmm. I'll take a bite out of it. Give a bite to the cameraman. Like you. Really don't look too healthy though, does it? 
I don't know. I'm not too sure about it, but it smells oh, good. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. I can smell the peppers, the bacon. Yeah, it smells real good. Let me try this. You taste the peppers and the bacon in okay. it? You got a lot of bacon in there. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. That's better than the other ones. What was the other ones called we did? We did another taste the test. The Bridgeford. House or something. No, I mean, it wasn't the Bridgeford. It was uh, the Mountain House. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, these are... Potatoes oh. are actually soft. Yeah. Everything's edible. Yeah. Really yeah. good. These are actually way better than the Mountain House. You said they had a, a big online thing? They didn't have too much, but... No. They have, like, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, spaghetti with a hamburger... And they have, they have a few other ones on there. You Didn't you spaghetti? say southwest, spaghetti. southern west chicken and rice? Yes. Yeah, that's really good. No wonder he ate the whole bag. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. I like that. But yeah. I but like you it, would man. have to find a big thing to serve, you know, people. That's only like two servings. And it, if it only served one. Yeah. My light keeps, it's dead on top of my camera and it, it just keeps going out. I mean, hopefully that everybody can see pretty good. I got a light out here and I had a light there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you like it? Yeah, I like that better mm -hmm. than a mountain house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you guys want to buy this instead of your mountain house, this is way better. And you ain't got to get a flame heater or anything to warm it up. Or the mountain house, you just dump hot water in it. This one here has the internal. I like this better. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, the old the old meals. And it doesn't take long to. But it has the up. mountains on there, like it's a mountain house brand. How much was the mountain house? I can't remember. Is it eight or nine dollars? I think so. so this is cheaper. Is it? Yeah, it's about. I think seven mountain something. house is like ten bucks. It's seven something ten for that. Back. But yeah, that's the video right there, guys. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember what I was talking about. And uh, remember 14 more people. If they subscribe, we got this big giveaway coming. And uh, you guys will like that. So you got to hurry up and get it before it's too late. And uh, I think that's about it. Call that a video. It's a damn good show. No, I'm just kidding. It's a good show. <laughs> Crazy Emily Channel. I'm out of here.